If I had to use a single word, I'd say seismic. It's just staggering what has happened over the last 30 years. Networking, Information Technology Research and Development, or NIDRD, is an interagency program that came about after the passage of the High Performance Computing Act of 1991. Prior to this time, the agencies were mostly siloed, doing their own thing. There was a huge realization that if the United States were to really make a big difference across the globe, that we have to work together. And so it became incumbent on the federal government to bring all of the agencies together. So in the early days of the NIDRD program, there were a small number of agencies. And since that time, the number of agencies has increased dramatically. The NIDRD program at its core has the mission uh, to make lives better. These investments are not made solely to develop new technologies for their own sake. In fact, technologies are useful because they make people's lives better. When you think about the past 30 years of the NIDRD program, we've seen the emergence of so many multi-billion dollar industries in networking and in information technology, social media, devices, laptops, mobile phones, uh, but it goes so much deeper than that. If you look at all the things that have come out, the internet, cell phones, it all started from a government investment in some crazy idea with some purpose that then evolved into a public good. Think of computing's impact on our transportation systems, healthcare, the access to education, entertainment. All of that has translated into an economic growth engine that has been unprecedented. There's an enormous pride that the agencies in the NIDRD program take in fostering that kind of research that has led to these transformational technologies that we live with every day today. The National Coordination Office is pivotal in the success of the NIDRD program because they provide the staffing functions to enable this integration across different agencies. But the work is done largely in the interagency working groups, or IWGs. These are staff-level convening entities. These are the people who are actually making decisions about programmatic investments for their agencies. And now we have new interagency working groups, so the program continues to evolve. If I think of academia, government, and private industry, each of the organizations as a whole brings a different set of skills to solving the world's problems through innovation and research. When you actually interact with others and you see how smart people are investing their resources and you can compare notes, you learn from each other and you can also co-invest together. I think that that's been an indispensable role of what NITER does in terms of coordination across agencies. I do feel that my own research has benefited from the collaboration of the agencies. So my focus area in research is robotics, specifically healthcare robotics. And what I focus on is how do we design robots for therapy and intervention for children with special needs. I would not be able to do what I was able to do across the lifeline of my research unless the federal agencies have been able to collaborate. We owe it to the taxpayer to try to maximize the effectiveness of the funds that are being invested by the federal government on their behalf. And so the NIDR program is a mechanism that allows us to do that. They say that it takes a village, right, to, to get things done. And I think in the world of information technology and computation is a good example. The more efficient we are, the more collaborative we are, the better outcomes we get. I think NIDR, as successful as it's been, should not rest on its laurels. The next decade is more important than ever, and it'll be more challenging than ever. So a central theme moving forward is not only to advance science and technology, but to be much more sophisticated about its governance and how we're gonna make choices about the relationship of technology and humans and society. Well, it is very important that our government continues to invest in solutions and innovations and in research so that we still maintain a competitive edge around innovation. How we start today thinking about where we're going to be 20, 30 years from now, that's really the goal. And being strategic today in our investments so that when we get to that future, we have the tools that we need to meet that future. Oh,